Nick Roush here with Kentucky Sports Radio at Withrow High School, 104 years old, historic institution here, awesome football stadium where an awesome football player just announced his commitment to the University of Kentucky. To Ryan Nichols was the second of two four-star defenders to commit to the University of Kentucky this weekend. People said the Cats needed some more star power. Well, they got a lot of firepower on the defense this weekend. It actually all started Saturday morning when Elijah Groves out of East Robertson High School, just across the border in Tennessee, announced his commitment to Kentucky. He picked the Cats over NC State and Purdue, but don't be fooled by those offers. This kid is a bona fide badass. Yes, I said it. He's a badass. This defender, 6'3", 220 pounds, give or take, just an outstanding athlete. Now, there's some fundamental work that you, you got to work on, right? But, like, who needs to wrap up when you can blow dudes up the way Elijah Groves can? He's an outstanding athlete, great basketball player as well, averaged 20 points a game. He's already a 1,000-point scorer, hasn't even played his senior year. Uh, and he played with his cousin Taylor Groves, who was a four-star commitment last year for Ole Miss. Talented family, a great athlete. He's got some stuff to figure out, but, folks, I cannot tell you how excited I am watching this guy's film. You know, we can get all technical. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it myself, Adam Luckett. We get into the minutia of things, but some football players are just more fun. Like, you got to be fun and have fun playing football. Elijah Groves does that whether he's catching passes, whether he's lowering the shoulder. This dude's a linebacker who's returning kicks. That doesn't happen anywhere. The, the same thing can be said about to Ryan Nichols, who is now the highest-ranked defensive back to ever commit to the University of Kentucky. Think about that for a second. There's been, I think, five defensive backs picked in the last five years, and I might be shortchanging that. Should have looked up the stat before we started recording, but Kentucky's had a ton of talented defensive backs. Two four-stars in recent years from the Cincinnati era, area, Mike Edwards, was from right down the road at Winton Woods High School. And then Alex Safari from Lakota West just a year ago. Significant playmakers. Neither was ranked as high as Tarion Nichols is in the four-star composite. And he's a little bit different. He's a little bit different. He's not one of these big guys. But just because he's not six foot two, six foot four, doesn't mean that he can't compete in the SEC because he has elite closing speed. Um, and the thing that I learned about talking to him just a moment ago, dude just loves football. Like, just talking football plays, the guy loves it. And that's the sort of stuff that's hard to – it's hard to put your pin on. It's hard to just put on the tape and feel. But, I, you know, I could ask him all the recruiting questions he wanted, and it, you're going nowhere. But you start talking ball with this guy, he'll talk ball with you all day of the week, whether he's returning punts, which he's really good at doing that. He can switch the field on you. That's a crazy highlight that I'm sure you've seen by now. Uh, but also, he's got he's got some instincts, right? Like, he sees the plays before it happens. He can jump routes. Uh, if he's got a bigger guy on him, he's not going to let that guy cross his face easily, right? And if he does have a guy get by him, he knows when the ball's coming to be able to make a play on the football. An outstanding athlete, a huge get here at Withrow High School where uh, you probably haven't heard about him as much recently, but this is an up-and-coming program with a lot of talented kids. He's not the only guy that Kentucky's recruiting here. We saw UK football camp shirts being worn by a couple other players who are big-time recruits. You'll know one of the names, Chris Henry Jr., 6'5 receiver that's going to be a sophomore next year. Absolute stud. So Kentucky, they're fishing in the right waters. Vince Marrow, he does it again. You don't have to doubt him, right? People were saying that Michigan was making moves, that Clink had the upper hand on Vince. He, he was wearing the Michigan logo. They went to the playoffs. He got a couple wins, but the big dog is still barking. He's still got plenty of bite behind that bark, and he got a big win today with Tarion Nichols committing to the University of Kentucky. The Cats are rocking and rolling in 2024.